Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world and lies about 250 miles off the east coast of Africa. It is approximately 1,000 miles long with a range of mountains running down the center from north to south. This causes two climates on the island. Near the coastal lowlands it is hot and humid, whilst in the mountains it is very much cooler and wetter. This affects the people living here in that those in the mountains live in brick houses and have warmer clothing, whereas the lowland people live in wooden framed straw covered houses built on stilts to allow for air circulation to help the cooling. Their clothing is also quite different in the quality and amount that they wear. This is quite a primitive country and very poor, but the people are friendly and welcoming. Because the island was separated from Africa some 164 million years ago, it has developed its own flora and fauna. The majority of its plants are unique in the world and so has become a naturalist paradise. The same applies to the animals and, for example, over one third of the world's primate families are based in Madagascar, the largest group of which are the lemurs. Here we have five main groupings consisting in total of some 50 different types, ranging from the small nocturnal animals to the large teddy bear-like Indri lemurs which weigh up to 50 kilograms. Many of the varieties of lemur have only been discovered and recorded in the last 20 to 30 years. Biologists marvel at this great diversity in lemurs on the island, but to the rest of us the appeal is more fundamental. Lemurs are amongst the most cuddly, endearing and bewitching creatures in existence. Their soft fur, big round bright eyes and gentle gloved hands give them an irresistible appeal but they can also give you a sharp bite if provoked. A question which still remains unanswered is how did the lemurs get to Madagascar in the first place since primate evolution began only some 60 million years ago but the island separated from Africa 160 million years ago. Lemurs are distantly related to lorises, bush babies, tarsiers and monkeys. But how did these water-hating animals get from Africa to Madagascar when all their competitors and predators missed the crossing and so gave these early colonists a free hand to diversify and exploit every available niche in this huge island to their own advantage? The ring-tailed lemur is the most common and is the one usually seen in zoos in other countries. These lemurs have a dog-like nose and eat fruit, leaves and insects and need to drink water, hence they must live near streams or ponds. They live in female-dominated troops of about 20 animals and have a variety of calls to warn of different dangers. The young are born in August or September and cling to their mother's belly. When older, they ride on her back. These roughed lemurs belong to the same family as the ringtails. A second family are the Indri group, of which the Indri itself is the largest. They live in the rainforests in small groups and seldom come down to the ground, and so observation and photography is always in difficult forest conditions. These animals are superb leapers, jumping effortlessly from tree to tree. They are the most vocal of all the lemurs, and because their territory is so large to defend by scent alone, their song proclaims their whereabouts and warns others to keep away. This haunting song provides one of Madagascar's unforgettable experiences. Vero are again tree dwellers, 
but do come down on occasions, but appear never to drink. When they do come down to the ground, they cross the open land on their hind legs, bellies thrust out and arms held aloft, and are really quite a comic spectacle. The cockerel sifarca is another of the Indri family, and is similar to the previous one except for its colouring. The smallest of this family is the woolly lemur, which is quite small, is nocturnal and can only be seen resting and sleeping in trees and shrubs in the daytime. Another group of lemurs, of which the crown lemur is one, have a family characteristic that the female and the male are differently coloured. In this case, the male is brown, whereas the female is grey. The black lemur's colour difference is even more pronounced because the male is totally black and the female has a white face and a golden body. The brown lemurs are quite similar to each other, the male being grey-brown and the female being a dirty brown. On some occasions, lemurs of different families will interbreed and all sorts of colours and characteristics result. Irrespective of the type of lemur, you can always guarantee that they all love bananas. Madagascar shares with the Galapagos Islands the characteristic that because they are islands and far from other land masses, their flora and fauna have developed in a completely isolated way. It is truly the naturalist promised land. Here, nature seems to have withdrawn into a secret sanctuary in order to work on designs which are so different from anything else she has created in any other part of the world.